Hey guys, thanks for checking out my project, which is implementing a Quartic and a UART on an Arctic 7 FPGA. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick demo using my Python program running on my PC. So basically what I'm gonna do is send some commands over to the FPGA via my uh, USB to UART bridge. So, um, so first of all, let me point to these LEDs here. So this LED here corresponds with the reset signal. So the fact that it's high means that, well, the system isn't being reset since it's active low. And then this LED here correlates with the um, pipeline enable. So because this is lighting up, the Cortic is working out. So um, we're gonna send an input angle. Of, let's say negative 90 degrees. So we're gonna expect cosine to be zero and sine to be negative one with all these um, bytes being reported out here. And the CRC8 passes, so we know that the result is good. So that's good. So what we're going to do now is send bursted angles, so multiple angles over. So we're going to enter the burst count, 4, and let's do, let's say, 0 degrees, negative 180, let's do, let's do 360, and then let's do 45. So now you can see, so by the way, every time it sends a transaction over, you can see that these LEDs pop up, which means that we're sending and we're receiving packets on the FPGA. Um, anyway, so you can see here for an input of theta of zero, the cosine is um, one, sine is zero. For negative 180, the cosine is negative one, and the sine is zero. For 360, we're just gonna get cosine of one and sine of zero. And then for 45 degrees, we're gonna get cosine equals to sine equals 0.707. So you could do this with whatever angle you want and it should be fine. So next what we're going to do is try out the disable and enable commands here. So let's say we wanted to disable the Cortic. So if we enter in a 3, now you notice that this LED here is shut off, which means that um, the FPGA shouldn't accept any more signals. So now if we send a 1 here in the 90 degrees, what we get is a timeout because well, we're, well the cortic is disabled. So now if we want to enable it, we just press four and then now the LED pops back up. So now what if we want to send in a single angle value of let's say 270 degrees, easy numbers. Whoops, so, oh yeah, so there we go. So 270 gives us cosine of zero and sine is negative one. So there we have it. This is um, my demo in action. Hope you guys enjoyed it.